we're not done yet. No, we're not. Because the top 16 teams, the top 16 seeds, uh, the bracket preview came out yesterday, and it was a doozy. Um, caught caught the game, um, caught it when it was going on um, as I woke up yesterday and as it was turning on it was like 11 30 uh, before you know the brackets were like before um, the top 16 teams were revealed and stuff like that and I was wondering who in the world was going to be the top who in the world was going to be these top 16 teams because I mean we have an idea but we really don't know yet uh, but now we do now we do know who these top 16 teams are and it plays in very very well to the other games that have to be covered because there was some stuff that happened yesterday and today to where it was like hmm well that's well brackets are getting a little bit busted here um, and one seeds are gonna probably fall um, two seeds could fall, three seeds could fall, four seeds could fall. Um, these top 16 are the cream of the crop right now as far as you know where the world's going to be for the tournament, for the title. And first up, number one overall right now is the Band of Bears. I mean, come on. Come on. Can, is there anybody else that you could put there? Baylor just has the best resume in the country. Um just absolutely stunning right now what they've been doing they've been playing great defense and they've been playing some good offense as well they've got a couple of key guys you know out there to where they can do things they can do um, the number two overall is another big 12 team and that's kansas um again kansas is another team that's been pretty good um, i believe they're still behind baylor right now the big 12 um the third seed going out to the east region uh, by the way, Baylor's in the South, Kansas in the Midwest. In the East, it's a little bit weird that San Diego State, undefeated, is out in the, in the West, in the East, sorry, as four seed and out West is Gonzaga as the number three, the number three overall seed, no, still the number one seed. Um, on the two line right now, we got we got Duke as the second. That's the first two seed. Um, Dayton, second. Second two seed. Louisville, the third two seed. And then West Virginia, who lost to Oklahoma yesterday, by the way. Um, they got they did not shoot the ball very well against Oklahoma yesterday. So that's probably a problem. So maybe you could flip-flop Maryland and, and West Virginia right now. Because uh, Maryland is, the, is one of the three seeds right now. And... Them, Villanova, who lost yesterday, of course, to Seton Hall. And Seton Hall is rightfully so a three seed right now. Florida State is also a three seed. They're like the 10th overall seed, but they're still a three seed. A um, little bit more questionable is that Michigan State is one of, they're actually the last team on the four line, or the last team in as one of those top 16 right now as evidenced by the committee. Uh, don't think they belong there. They ended up losing yesterday anyway in Michigan. They got they got basically curb stomped yesterday. And they just could not get anything going at all. Um, Auburn is another one. Butler, who also lost. And Oregon, round out the top 16 teams. Um, so uh, there's a long way to go, man. There's a long way to go. Until we get to, you know, March Madness and everything like that. Long way to go. till we get all the way there. And what uh, what in the world could possibly happen until then? I think some of these things, some of these teams could definitely change in a heartbeat. Um, some of these teams probably won't be four seats. Some of these teams probably won't even be three seats by the end of the day. Um... Maybe some two, maybe some two seeds might fall, maybe some ones, but who knows what's gonna happen when we get to March Madness. Um, and going over some scores real quick, I forgot Oregon also lost yesterday. Um, Oregon also lost to Oregon State yesterday, which is crazy. 
Um, as far as today goes, Butler, again, they lost to Marquette. They lost big, 76-57. Uh, Houston destroyed Wichita State. I don't know what in the world's going on out there in the American right now. But, um, yeah, not looking too good. Gonzaga just destroyed St. Mary's, 90-60. to Gross. U UCLA, big, big W over Arizona. And Arizona was ranked 23rd. Anyway, San Diego State continues to win. Baylor that continues to win. Creighton has been in the in the um, top 25 for a little bit now. Iowa got a win. Colorado got a win. And of course, we can't forget about Duke and North Carolina yesterday. Probably that should have been, you know, yesterday it probably should have been a shot that, you know, Duke shouldn't have taken. But, you know, who cares now? The game's over. Duke escapes with a with a two point victory, you know it just doesn't matter now. It probably should have been like I don't know, UNC ball or something like that. But you know it is what it is. You can't you can't beat Duke if you if you're just not that good. UNC is not that good anyway. But I thought it was gonna, we all thought it was going to be a blowout, but it ended up being a great game, and I did not watch it because the XFL was on. So. Um, Penn State beat Minnesota. Louisville had a tough time with Virginia, but they got the win anyway. Dayton continues to win. They beat St. Louis. I've already talked about Oklahoma beating West Virginia. Kentucky pretty much had beat Tennessee. Like it wasn't really that much of a game. Like Kentucky was always up by ten at some point during that game yesterday. Um, Kansas just. At flat out great defensive performance as Buki went off again. Uh, and, and Auburn LSU was fantastic. LSU had the lead for the longest time and blew it. Auburn got the W. Um, and Florida State played Miami yesterday, so throw away does not matter. Miami does not matter in the grand scheme of things. Uh, yeah. And then on Friday, Friday was um, Maryland beating Illinois, if you care about Friday night games. <sighs> well, 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 well. The trek to March 15th, or yeah, March 15th, it's going to be a long and treacherous ride for these 25 top ranked teams and all these other teams and these other conferences right now and there's a lot to go over there's a lot to study there's a lot of teams to figure out and I think it's going to be you know a great ride to the finish so let's do it let's do it y'all we got we got a few weeks left let's go and it's crunch time and if you're not if you're like I don't know, like the Longhorns or something, or or like Nebraska or something like that. You know, you are probably not going to the NCAA tournament. You are not. But if you're a top team and you're fighting for the top spot, and then again, I mean, they're again. I've said this all season long, ever since I started um, doing college basketball related stuff in December. I'm saying it all season, there could be about 40 teams that have a chance at the title this year. And it doesn't. It, they all don't have to be these big power powerhouse teams with these power conferences. Uh, there are some legit teams in smaller conferences that can win a title, like Zag or Dayton, for example. Well, Dayton's not really considered a small. It, the Atlantic Ten's not considered a small conference, and Gonzaga's a powerhouse. But but there, there's that any given day type vibe that we have this season. Um, as evidence with some of these some of these teams like not even being in, in the top 16 like Kentucky who had a bad loss Duke also had a pretty bad loss too well not a bad loss they lost to what Stephen F. Austin it's, Stephen F. Austin is doing pretty good right now but there are a lot of teams that can win the title there's a lot of teams that maybe are itching for that title they're itching for a title I know Gonzaga's itching for a title I know Dayton's probably itching for a title they're Everybody, everybody that's playing good right now is playing absolutely wonderful. And everybody that's not, oh well, oh boy. But yeah, that'll do it, everybody. Y'all take care, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.